hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tosin. let's draft a queen and neckline so the first thing you need is your bodice pattern the next thing you want to do is to determine the neck depth so from for the neck depth you're going to measure your bust radius plus one inch if you don't want your cleavage to show but if you want your cleavage to show you just mark your bust radius from the bust point you mark it upward like the way you see me doing in the video so i'm just going to get the set square side of my pattern master to draw a straight line after drawing the straight line you want to measure what you have from the center front to that point most time is always your nipple to nipple measurement half of it so i'm just marking up for my nipple to nipple measurement which is three and a half so i'm going to the top edge of my pattern where the neckline is to mark three and an half into the shoulder line so once i have that i'm going to connect this to my neck depth now we have a neck depth to work with you're going to have this rectangle details around the neckline so the next thing you want to do you want to now draft your quina neckline so from the neck depth you are going to come up two inches or two and a half inch then you come in from that point by one inch or two it depends on how deep you want that to be the type of Queen Anne neckline we are drafting is the one that will not get around your neckline. Now you are going to connect one side of that point into the shoulder point or the neck point. Yeah, you're going to connect it, giving it that curve look that the Queen Anne neckline have. So the next thing you want to do from here, you either connect this point into your neck depth or you go down one inch. From the center front like this you go down one inch or up an inch to draw the queen and neckline detail so i'm going to come down one inch and curve it into the center front using my pattern master it was easy to draw the curve and if you don't have a pattern master go in with your arm do it free and to get the curve that goes into the center front and that's that for your pin and neckline so we don't have to work with the this part that i cancelled is no is no more part of the pattern now i'm going in with my scissors to cut out the neckline and by the time you are done this is what you should have at the end of the day you can see how nice and beautiful the neckline is and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumb up like and share my video and don't forget to follow me on all of our social media platform have a nice day and bye